Hello everybody, welcome to the video. In this video I want to share with you something that is definitely an easily one of, if not the top herb that I love and like the most. It's called Hoshi Wu. It's also called Foti. And Hoshi Wu means black hair of Mr. Mr. Ho, the Chinese man. The reason why it's called Hoshi Wu is because apparently in legend this Chinese man had he was exhausted and wasn't bearing children, and bearing children was one of the best signs in the ancient Chinese culture. It's like your vitality and passing on the next generations. He was exhausted, sick, tired, and had no children in the age of 50s. And then he discovered this plant, and he started taking it, and he totally rejuvenated his power. He regrew re his hair, his grey hair, all fully black. He fathered many children, and he, had, he lived to a, over the age of 100 and had great health and energy and vitality again. <laughs> so that's why it's called Hoshi Wu. Another legend of our folklore story is, a, a tale of this also is that once upon a time there was a general in ancient China who was captured and he was put in an underground, like kind of like a bunker, like a cell, like back then, you know, under the earth. And they left him for dead. And they came back a year later <laughs> to excavate his, his remains but they found out not only was he not dead, but he's actually alive and thriving. He, and he had gone through rejuvenation, regeneration. His hair had grown back fully coloured and he was in great health. <laughs> and what he'd survived on was a root, a vine. And what it was coming from the, from the soil deep down. And it was the, it was the, the root of the Hoshi Wu or of the Foti, the root of this plant. The reason, let me tell you about this plant and why it's probably my favorite. First of all, it's, first of all, it's a fantastic energy herb. It, it's in Chinese medicine, it's, it's called a yin jing herb. Yin means restorative or collecting. And jing is your vital essence, energy, your primal energy that runs your body, that's integral to your longevity and your health. So it, some herbs in Chinese medicine will be like, for example, a yang jing would be like you, you get loads of energy. It activates your yin energy and your stores energy and it gives you a lot of like active energy. But yin is much more of a subtle energy you'd feel. Feel fantastic energy and well-being, but also it's deepening and replenishing and restoring the, the energy that you may have used up. For example, Many people, when you undergo a lot of stress or if you, if you become exhausted or chronic fatigue, just depletion of your body, that's when your jing is being burnt out. It's like the candle. To the modern world, it's like your candle burning at both ends. That's your jing. It's just running out. It's being wasted and used up. This results in premature aging, exhaustion, tiredness, weakness, fatigue, etc., etc., etc. So this is why Hoshu is absolutely one of my favorite herbs. That's only one of the reasons, and there's lots more, as I'm going to tell you in this video. Mm. That's a delicious drink. So, it's great for your feeling more energy practically in your life. Number two, it's great for your mood. It's very good for your feeling of well being and enhancing your, your, your mood and happiness and well being in life, your mental health, your happiness. In that way, it's good for also just dealing generally with like stress or today's modern world. I highly recommend it for those two purposes alone. Here's the reason why it restores people's hair. Hoshu has become famous these days for, one, for the main reason of restoring your hair color and hair, hair loss prevention and hair loss restoration. So it's actually been used in preventing and slowing hair loss, growing back lost hair, and thirdly, getting back the original color of your hair. In a study, there was like 36 people 20, after a certain period of time, 24 of them received their total hair color regeneration. The remaining 12 were still in the progress of restoring but hadn't received full hair loss, hair, hair color regeneration, restoration. One of the reasons why Hoshi Wu is so good and good for restoring your hair is because it's, it's full of zinc. And usually in the plant kingdom, between four and eight, usually in in the animal kingdom, usually the foods, or the plant kingdom, usually foods high in zinc are considered four to eight milligrams per 100 grams. So between four and eight, that's usually considered high. But Hoshu actually has 42 milligrams per 100, which is like way more than four or eight. 
that's on a par with the highest in the animal kingdom that else we, of what else we know is to be the highest which is oysters but personally i'm not interested in oysters but i'm happily interested in how she would <laughs> so that's zinc is 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 Zinc is really important actually for a number of things and one of the things is also used up in is sexual activity from a man so it's actually in, in the man's like semen so it's rich in zinc so when you're sexually overactive especially for men you use up loads and loads of zinc that's why it's, it's also known as a sexual tonic when we have sex we use up a lot of vital essence and vital force jing and that's why many people, especially sick people, have first of all no libido because their, their zinc levels are low and their jing is low. And that's why often many people who do have sex and they end up being tired afterwards, especially sick people, because they just don't have the body jing or vitality, life essence anymore. They've burnt it out of them. So that's why Foti or Hoshiru is very good for replenishing that. That's why having it with such high levels of zinc, it's incredible for a male especially. But it's not, the herb is not just for men at all, it's also used for women totally, 100% too. Um, octo, octogenarians are people living till after 100 or in their 90s and 80s. 80% 80 of them or more are not deficient in zinc. This shows the correlation between zinc and longevity. Zinc is a component not only of the DNA that it's protecting, but it's used in the creation of the proteins that will help protect our DNA from damage. So having high zinc is really important. This is loaded with zinc. Hoshu Wu is renowned and probably the best herb, or along with gynostemma. Many people say it's the best for longevity. This is one of the primary reasons why many people take it. Maybe because of what I just mentioned there, it protects and helps your DNA. <laughs> Another thing about that Hoshu is extremely famous for, one of the most damaging free radicals is superoxide. Superoxide, okay. This is a real like damaging, scavenging free radical that harms and can damage our DNA. But guess what? Hoshiwu bolsters up the liver's ability to produce what our natural ability to combat this um, superoxide. And that's something called SOD or superoxide dismutase. It's, a, it's probably one of the, if not the, one of the most powerful antioxidants in our bodies. It'll totally help protect our um, oxidation and damage from free radicals from from free radicals it'll help protect our dna also from the from the damage if superoxide is left to do its thing so what else about hoshu it also protects your liver <laughs> our liver can become damaged from fats and just generally in life but especially from like you know bad fats it's been shown also in clinical studies to protect protect humans, the liver, from becoming, from becoming damaged. So another reason, how should we, why it's up there at my top. I want to take this forever. <laughs> it's, it's basically speaking, it's a plant especially high in nutrition and especially high in certain collected energy in the roots of the plant. And when we take it, we'll get incredible benefits. Some people report sexual urges come, coming back again after taking this for a while or even suddenly after taking it <laughs> for a short period of time. One other thing about Hoshuwu is that it's a famous blood building tonic. Even more iron than goji berries and dankui. And dankui is considered to be a, one of the most elite blood building tonics in herbal medicine. So. That's another thing about Hoshu, and iron of course is used for carrying oxygen and in the blood, having carrying nutrients and having healthy blood to nourish any part of your body. So for anyone who's anemic or, or tired or listless or just wants to have much better health and, and better health and functioning of your body, take supplements or food like this that's high in iron. So 
that's another fantastic thing about Oshu. And another reason why I'm gonna keep taking it forever. Hey everyone. Whoa! Gee. Hey everyone, sorry it's me again. I forgot to say about Hoshuwu. Hoshuwu, there's two different types of Hoshuwu. There's prepared Hoshuwu, which is boiled in a black bean uh, sauce um, at a 10 to 1 ratio. 10 parts Hoshuwu root and one part black bean. But this actually really helps in the, this is tr the traditional usage of how Hoshuwu is prepared. This is very important because if you get raw Hoshuwu, it's much, much more like a laxative. It just moves through your system quicker. It's more like a laxative and you won't get a, like, you won't get the benefits, basically speaking, of the Hoshuwu that everyone describes on the internet. It's the prepared, it's the prepared Hoshuwu version that you want, and that's the standard version, okay? Secondly, a lot of the um, benefits in Hoshuwu, they, 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 they are not um, water soluble. So it's generally best not to take Hoshuwu as a tea, but to take it as a fine powder, and that's just typically the way it's already prepared in powder form or capsules as a fine powder so that's all i want to say also and if you want to look at the hoshuwu below it's in the um, energy section of energy herbs and um probably my mood boosting herb section too so have a look and you'll discover more herbs and scout them out and buy them if you feel like it can't recommend hoshuwu enough i love it see it <laughs> okay well take care and Lots of love and to your health, happiness and well-being. And also, if you're interested in checking out my website, you can see my website below or check out my hair page on Facebook. And my website includes also life transformation coaching of mind, body and spirit. So this is just a physical aspect, which I know the health, the power of herbs. I used to be sick and weak like this man and now I'm getting tremendous strength, energy, vigor and vitality and health back again. So. Herbs work, they're much stronger than raw food in my opinion. I've tried both, I've tried raw foods without the herbs, I've tried a mixture of raw food and cooked food or else just raw food with the herbs and with the herbs it's just way better than without the herbs, it doesn't compare. So they're the most tonic medicinal plants and powerful, power packed nutritional medicinal plants in the world.